Oblivion walkthrough for nextinwalkthroughs.com. Okay, now this is a pretty long video, actually, because it's the longest part of... Hmm, <laughs> part of this I level, I guess. Longest part of this level, I think. But anyway, um, so after... Martin is in this chapel, and if you talk to him, I would recommend telling him to wait here. If you want, you can have him follow you, and he'll be one extra guy that can't die, because he'll just get knocked unconscious and come back up and help, but... He's in robes, and he's got a little dagger, and he's pretty much pointless, useless, so... I guess it could help a little bit, but... I just found it easier for everyone, but, uh, for me, and just for him, because I don't have a chance of somehow losing him. Because that seems to happen whenever you have people following you. Because the AI in this game is not too good, but, you know, it's from 2004, I think. I don't know, it's a relatively old game, so... Doesn't matter. Now, this guy tells you that the gate is locked, and you have to go into the castle and talk to some guy to get his key. And the guy will then uh, have you follow him, and, and for mine, the guy dies, but which isn't too bad. You just pick up the key and then go activate the gate, but if... He uh, doesn't die for you, well good for you, it's just something someone else help. Now as you can see here, uh, well as you might have seen before, all this talking, there's the guy that I let, like told to go back help the guard in the Oblivion Gate. He was here helping me, and if he survives this part, then he will, um... Uh, what was I gonna say? Anyway, sorry, uh, he will help you with the Great Gate, I believe, so... If he doesn't die, that's even better, but oh well. So now three Imperial Legion guards come, and later one of them dies. Actually, they all die, but uh, I just pick up the Legion armor off the dead one, and you're going to want to do that because it's probably some of the best armor you're going to have for a while. A chance to fight back. Yes, I have it. Why? So anyway, this guy just tells you he has a key, and then you can say no time to explain, or you just need it, or you need to close the gate, either one, it doesn't really matter. Now, this game is kind of, you can kind of go the douchebag way, or you can go the nice way, and I'm going to go through the nice way, just because it makes it easier, and if you're going to be a dick to everyone, just, uh, well, have fun with that, but... Sometimes being a dick to people can mean you can't do the quest, so I would not recommend it too much. Maybe every now and then, like especially on the main quest, if you want to be a dick, go ahead because uh, it won't really matter because you kind of have to continue in the main quest. But a lot of the side quests, if you're a dick to them, then you're just not going to be able to do the quest because they won't talk to you anymore. Which, um, you know, makes sense, I guess, but. There's one quest, a uh, side quest, where you get the, a ring of water breathing, and that's what most people use since they aren't an, Argon uh, are an Argonian, and if they ever need to breathe water, they just put it on, take off another wing or something, but uh, I will be doing that quest just to show people, even though it is you, that ring is useless for me because I'm an Argonian and they breathe underwater anyway, but I'll be doing the quest anyway. And that guy, if you make fun of him or something, then, yeah, if you laugh at his face, then he won't talk to you and you can't do the quest anymore, which is... Kind of sad, but meh, I didn't. When I did that, I laughed at his face because I was an Argonian. It didn't really matter. But anyway, that's for when I get to that quest. Okay, so, um. Right here is where both of the guys die, and, well, pretty soon. Not right at this particular moment, but it's where both of these guys die, and the uh, two other Imperial. Uh, sorry if you heard it. Scratch the mic. But anyway, uh. Sorry, uh, two of the uh, la, 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 la. two of the other Imperial soldiers did not come until the end for some reason, so they help a little bit at the end when I'm fighting off like tense camps. They kill like two or three, I think, which does help a lot. But I don't know, it they would have been more useful here. But yeah, I just pick up the Legion stuff and get the gold. Always pick up gold, even if it's one gold, it's worth it in the end. And I pick up Legion and drop a couple of things and. Blade armor and legion armor, they are both exactly the same defense-wise, they just look different. That, that's the only difference. And uh, if you think blade armor looks cooler, choose blade. If you think Imperial Legion looks cooler, choose Imperial Legion, which I'm going with the legion. So, uh, just because I think it looks cooler. But yeah, pretty soon I start speeding up the video because it's just me running around killing a frickload of scamps, and it's just cra kind of crazy. So right here, there are a ton of scamps in this side quest, and... 
It can get really annoying. But one tip, always go for the one with lower health. Don't try and even them out because in this game, kind of like with um, uh, turn-based RPGs, I've always found that one less is always better than having to deal with all three of them. So one less scamp is always better. Now, I start running from him here, and I'm, I've only, uh, I'm only speeding this video up 150%. But... Um, I start running here for, away from the scamps thinking oh, I'll just take care of him later which right here is where I find that the I just decide to kill him here and then I find that the legion people come and they help a little bit like of the six or eight scamps that are here seven or eight scamps but they help a little bit that's uh, completely that's obviously better than nothing and uh yeah, that's just what happens I guess but I think I leave yeah I leave like three of them or something and then I just go and try and finish the quest, but then they follow me, which kind of sucks because they they will follow you through the dungeon and everything. So here I am just trying to kill off anything with low health, and I just decide to run for it now. So video is back to normal, 100% speed, and the rest of this is pretty much just me going and opening up the gate, and the next video will have us assaulting the castle or trying to retake it. So see you then.